GoPro Hero 12 is now available online and in the shops and I know that lots of you are interested in getting this camera maybe to enhance their image quality or to enhance the content creation that they are doing in this video I'm gonna share with you 10 things that you should know about this GoPro Hero 12 before buying it Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Photorabs. I do videos about photography, filmmaking, camera tech related reviews, unboxings, action cams, vlogging kits and so on. If you're interested in these topics, I highly appreciate if you go subscribe to my channel. That's a massive help. And by the way, I ordered this GoPro Hero 12 so I can try it out for you on this channel. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to ring the bell so you can receive all the notifications about my future posts. And write me down in the comment section below what kind of test you would like to see on this GoPro Hero 12 so I can try to film as much as possible so you can know whether this camera is a good fit for you or not. But in this video, I'm going to share with you 10 things that I find interesting to think about before buying this GoPro Hero 12. On a quick note, the background music in this video is from Artlist. Artlist has you covered because they have everything you need, all the assets in only one place. You can download high quality music, you can download sound effects, you can download templates, footages, plugins and so on. Everything royalty free with only one subscription. You can have everything in one place and that's amazing. On this platform you have the AI that can learn the kind of music that you like for your videos and it will always suggest you new music in the same genre. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by Artlist, they did not pay me to talk about them, but since I found this platform very interesting, I decided to share it with you. You can use the affiliate link in the description below if you're interested for any annual plan on the Artlist website, and you can get two months for free, and that's amazing. And if you would like to subscribe to the Motion Array annual plan, you can get $50 discount at the checkout. And now let's go back to the video. So if you are buying this camera to have a better image quality, I'm sorry to tell you that this camera has the same sensor as the GoPro Hero 11 Black. So no enhancement in the sensor. I believe no enhancement in the image quality, in the overall image quality. But on this camera, you have the HDR mode, which can allow you to have a slightly better dynamic range on this camera comparing to the GoPro Hero 11 and on this camera you have also the log profile which is much better than the flat profile that we had on the GoPro Hero 11 so I believe that the dynamic range is a little bit enhanced on this new camera but the overall image quality is the same. And having a new lock profile on this camera allows you to have a better experience when color grading your footages if you like to color grade your footage afterwards and GoPro offers you a free lot so you can download it from their website and you can use it directly on your log footages from the GoPro and then you can tweak this lot a little bit in order to have the look that you want to achieve with this camera that's something really nice from GoPro. In this video, I'm not comparing the GoPro Hero 12 to the DJI Action 4. I'm making another video very soon on my channel about this topic, the GoPro Hero 12 and the DJI Action 4. But I noticed from lots of YouTube videos that the file size on the GoPro Hero 12 of the footages on the GoPro Hero 12 are smaller than the file size for the DJI Action 4, which is something very important to save some disk space. That's a great improvement on the GoPro Hero 12. And of course, this comparison is made on the same resolution, same frame rates between the DJI Action 4 and the GoPro Hero 12. I cannot wait to test it myself to give you my opinion about it, whether it's correct or not. But that's what I was seeing on the internet when I was trying to find the good things and the bad things about the GoPro Hero 12. On this GoPro Hero 12, you can now preview your shots on the application, on the GoPro application when you are recording. This feature was enabled on the GoPro Hero 9, 8, I think, but then it was disabled on the GoPro Hero 10 and 11. And now they get it back on this new version from GoPro. That's something very good from GoPro once again. And now you can use the full sensor size, the 8x7 and almost all the resolutions, all the frame rates. That's something that was missing on the GoPro Hero 11 and they addressed it in this GoPro Hero 12. On this new camera, GoPro added the vertical shooting mode without the need of flipping the camera vertically to create content for social media, YouTube and so on. So now you can use it 
in the horizontal mode and film vertically because the sensor is a very big sensor but this only exists in the beginner mode but I highly recommend you to use the professional mode so you can have better control on the camera and then you can film in 8x7 5.3k and then you can reframe later whether vertically or horizontally on this camera you have also the wireless bluetooth capability which is amazing i thought at the beginning i thought it's going to be revolutionary on the action camera world but then i noticed that the audio quality is not so good the earbuds cannot transmit very good audio quality through bluetooth to the camera so in order to use a wireless microphone you have to sync the audio from another external microphone that has onboard recording or use the media mode and that's something that I really don't like on the GoPro system. If you use the GPS on the GoPro Hero 11 know that on this GoPro 12 you don't have the GPS anymore so they removed this feature on this new camera but if you do not need the GPS this is not a bad thing because now the heat management on the GoPro Hero 12 is much better than the heat management on the GoPro Hero 11 because now you don't have the GPS that's calculating the position in real time that's a good thing on this GoPro if you do not need the GPS and that can enhance a little bit the battery life on this camera the recording time limit because of the battery life on this camera because there is no GPS calculating the position in real time once again but don't be fooled because the battery life has not doubled on this GoPro Hero 12 comparing to the GoPro Hero 11 all the marketing images and videos that we were seeing on the internet says that the battery life is almost the double on the GoPro Hero 12 than on the GoPro Hero 11 but that's not true because all the tests were made in certain conditions, in certain weather conditions, the temperature and the wind speed, and in certain resolutions and frame rates. So it's not something that you can base on in order to buy this camera or not. It will depend on how you use it, where you use it, and when you use it, of course. And finally, GoPro changed the feet of this camera. They included the quarter inch thread on the bottom with the flip out feet which is good, but that's not enough because Yulanzi and Falcam made the feed for GoPro that has the magnet thing for it, which is much better than having the feed with a quarter inch thread. For 20 euros, you can have the feed from Falcam and Yulanzi, and it's much better, much, much better, especially if you have the DJI Action 2, Action 3, and Action 4, you can use the same magnetic mounts on this GoPro Hero 12 or 11 if you use the feed from Falcom and Yulansi. And as I said in the beginning of this video, I bought this camera to try it out for you on this channel. Make sure to write me down your questions about the GoPro Hero 12, the tests that you want me to try on this camera so I can try them for you. And make sure to subscribe, to ring the bell so you can receive all the notifications about my future posts. And if you are interested in this camera, you can buy it from Digit Photo. I have a creator code Photorabs. Use it at the checkout and you can help my channel a lot. And that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done it. Check my affiliate links in the description below. I have lots of promo codes, lots of good deals about photography and videography products that I've talked about previously on my channel. And thank you for watching. Ciao for now.